So let's look at the continuous cycling method using the example of the gravity drain tank process. Now for this case as the procedure suggested that we need to put the controller with a proportion only controller meaning you turn off the integral mode and the derivative mode and then make a small increase in the set point. So you see that for this case we have quite stable response with an offset. So we'll have to increase the gain, say make it from 4 to 20 and let's see how it responds. So make it 4 again. We see that there are some oscillation but the process comes back to the initial value. Let's see how it responds here. When the goes up again we see some sort of overshoot but with some oscillation. Now if I make it say again more so we'll have the response goes becomes more oscillatory however it comes back to the steady value. So now keep on increasing in this way let's see when it becomes marginally stable meaning what is the ultimate gain for this case. Now we see even a very high value like 60 the oscillation is dying down so meaning that we still have not reached the point to the ultimate gain. So we have tested 60 now let's say what happens when the value is say 65 So we still see oscillation however the oscillation is dying down meaning that we haven't reached the ultimate gain yet. Let's try some value even higher 70. It appears that we are going close to the value where we have some sort of sustained oscillation however we see that the output really is the maximum value so that for this case we'll try to see whether the level is brought down to some value see whether we can get the sustained sustained oscillation without hitting the bulb saturation or not. We see that for this case still we have some sort of oscillation however it's the amplitude is decreasing here. You see that the amplitude is slowly decreasing. So it shows that we are nearing close to the value of the ultimate gain. Let's see what happens when I make a little bit more say suppose 72 let's see what happens and now if I make it from 4 to suppose 4.5 we see that the oxygen looks like sustained however it's reaching the valve saturation so we'll see whether without reaching valve saturation we can get something or not. So again bring it back to 4. You see that still it's the valve saturation is taking place so it's 100%. So let's see whether the oscillation dies down or not. So now we see that the output is oscillating although it's The value is decreasing very slowly however in this case the valve is not saturated so we see that a sustained we can consider this to be a sustained oscillation. We can further tune to get the value however for this case maybe we can take this to be a case whether we can consider this to be a sustained oscillation. So what do we have we have 
obtained our value for this ultimate gain for this process which was 72 okay now let's look at the plot to find out what is the ultimate period for this case so if you look at this any two points any two peaks you'll get the ultimate period for any oscillating signal in this case if you just zoom in so if i zoom in here you get that this this is 252 this is 256.2 meaning that this intersection is 4.2 meaning this one is 2.1 so if we look at the values from here to there it's something like around 2.3 or 2.4 minutes the period of oscillation so you know, so we got the ultimate gain to be 72 and the ultimate period to be something in the range between say around 2.1 four minute so then using the ziegler nikos tuning rules we can find out what will be the parameters for the controllers meaning if you choose a pi or pid controller we can set the controller parameter according to those tuning rules